Hey guys, Nick here at Scott and Dickey. Today we're doing another tech video. This one is covering the oil pump in your Gen 5 car, truck, or SUV. Now, if you're familiar with the older LS engine that came out in 97, they've been using the Gerator style pumps that look very similar to this. They went to a vein style pump here for a couple reasons. One, much more efficient design. It is less drag to pump the same volume drag sacrifices horsepower. Another one is they can vary the volume and the pressure of these pumps. And we're gonna go over that here in a minute. Now, these pumps are pretty sophisticated and they use a system right here. You can see it changes the volume with this outside housing. And so as your engine is running, this can lower or raise the oil pressure or volume. Now, it does this, of course, for some very sophisticated reasons. It does it to keep oil volume and pressure low at areas where you don't need it. Idle, cruising on the highway, this adds in extra efficiency. It adds in that miles per gallon. The EPA wants it to be more efficient. The other reason is they can ramp it back up when you really need it, which is when you drive a newer Corvette, a newer Camaro, or even a newer truck, and you really romp on the gas on the on-ramp, you see that pressure start climbing immediately. It's controlled by a small electrical solenoid that you see here in the corner. That solenoid is controlled by the PCM, and again, it measures load and RPM to see how much oil, volume, and pressure that you need. The great thing about this system is the mechanism itself is actually very simple in design. There's actually a very heavy spring that goes right here. We've removed it so we can show you the function of this uh, outer housing moving. What will happen is if for any reason this solenoid fails, it is a default to high pressure. So it still has a high pressure release valve, just like your older style LS engines had on their oil pumps. It cuts off at 87 PSI. So if this fails, good news, you're running around with high oil pressure, just like you did in the older days. So it doesn't ruin your engine. Pretty smart. Now, the other trick to this is in your newer style LT engine, you have piston oil squirters. But of course, squirting the bottom of the piston with oil, it adds you know parasitic drag. So what this does, <clears throat> those have a check valve in them. Those piston oil squirters have a check valve in it. In the LT5, it's about 43 PSI. In the rest of them, it's about 27 PSI. So when you're cruising down the highway and it wants to go down to 20, 25 PSI, those piston oil squirters turn off. That again helps efficiency. It's a really cool feature that they have in these oil pumps. The great news is, is that since this design has been around for a little while, has a very low failure rate and the performance of these is really, really high. So no need for an aftermarket oil pump in some of the higher built engines like before. And we're gonna show you that function again here. And as you can see, right now it would be during its higher volume, higher pressure, and then it goes down. And you can see this area where it would suck up the oil shrunk. And then if it wants a little more, you're getting on the highway, it comes back up. Pretty neat feature. If you would, please give us a like, a subscribe, and a share. We're gonna be doing more tech videos in the future addressing some of your comments, questions, and concerns about different technical aspects of LS and LT engines. If you have any more questions, please, in the comments section below, feel free to ask. We're looking for more ideas to do tech videos. We really appreciate you guys stopping by, and we'll see you next time.